All right, Coach, first, congratulations. Welcome on the new position. Um, a very short turnaround for you, uh, not having a chance to work with uh, the ladies in the spring, getting them in here. You've had a couple days to work with them. Talk about camp, your experience getting into d &E, what it's been like to get to know them and get things going. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. It's been great. Um, everybody's been very helpful with the transition. So, uh, yeah, a lot of new faces. Everyone's a new face to me, So, and a lot of new faces to each other, about uh, 12 freshmen, 13 returners. So it's definitely been a building process this preseason, uh, but we've been working hard and implementing some new things, and uh, I think they've, they, they're have they learning pretty well, and uh, so hopefully we'll see that translate uh, in the upcoming scrimmages next week. Talk about uh, camp like plans, looking ahead. Um, obviously, you haven't had a chance to work. Sometimes coaches come in in the springtime, they get a chance to implement a system, and so that way when they come in in the fall, they truly into your system. How are you implementing this year, knowing that the team probably did things a little different last year, um, but not going necessarily a full system, or are you trying to just kind of work with it slowly? Yeah, um, I was familiar. A lot of them said they played a certain style last year, so I'm, I'm working on trying to implement similar, uh, a little bit different, so they have some of the background knowledge, just a little bit different details and, and different movements on and off the ball. Um, so it's been a little bit uh, tricky at times, but we've walked through it, um, had a few off the field sessions as well to, to help them understand um, how the system will work on the field and then taking it to the field and, and we've had success that way. So um, I think, like I said, it's just a process. We're, we're working through it and, and they're, they're very open-minded. They're willing to do the work and um, so it's been great. We have a great, great group of girls and, and looking to finally hit the field against another team. Looking, uh, looking ahead to the season, um, pick third this year. Last year the team was picked sixth, went on to win the regular season. Um, so higher expectations this year, but at the same time, uh, not the new team in the conference, not underestimated in any sense um, with the conference shape. What do you look at for a team? What kind of goals do you set forth? Do you have any goals at this point because it's still so young and in time being here? Yeah, I mean, speaking with the girls, they have high expectations for themselves, uh, knowing where they were last year, a lot of their turners. Um, and it's about bringing those freshmen along uh, as well, knowing that half of the team is new. So only half of them experienced what happened last year. So, um, yeah, I think being third is, is a high expectation, but I think the girls are willing to work for that and, and uh, want to exceed that expectation. So, um, like I said, they, they set high standards for themselves, and I'm trying to help them reach those and, and push them uh, beyond what they think they can do. You uh, mentioned having a lot of freshmen. Last year, there was a good core of freshmen that are now returning mm -hmm. um, with that experience. What's it been like working with them, knowing and, and having them be mentors for this large group of freshmen? Because just a year ago, they were mm -hmm. in the same position, and they were able to generate success early on. Yeah, well, that's the word you just mentioned, mentor. Um, that's been a big thing this preseason is um, helping those freshmen. You know, we set up an upperclassman mentor with the freshmen to help them with those sort of things and the tactical side and the teaching side of things. Like I said, we did some off, off field um, lessons and, and chalk talks or uh, whiteboard lessons. So, um, maybe they don't understand they're a little nervous to ask a question so those those upperclassmen have been there to, to answer those questions off the field if, um, and help them you know push them to open up on the field and say hey you know instead of asking me you know ask coach maybe she can help you out more and and so um, the returning freshmen and, and the other upperclassmen have been huge mentors for that freshman class so I think that's that's helped me along as well trying to implement things knowing that um, the upperclassmen are there to help um, with that translation and, and um, helping those freshmen tra transition into uh, the collegiate soccer setting because it is a big jump from high school and club to college. One of those big jumps uh, is after that freshman year moving to the sophomore year. Uh, you hear it from time to time, it's mm -hmm. called the sophomore slump. Um, Katrina Giansopoulos last year, freshman, second in the nation in goals, top freshman, uh, led the conference. What have you tried to attack with her and change or, or push with her? That way she's, one, because everybody's going to know her and expect her, but two, to be able to continue to develop her and, and let her get stronger. Yeah, um, not seeing her play last year and hearing a lot about her and reading a lot about her, um, it was exciting to finally get to see her in a, on the field and, and see what she has as a player. She's a very talented player. Um, so we're just working uh, to find new ways for her to attack. Uh, she, was, she had one way that, that they were able to find success last year. So we're trying to 
be able to combat teams with two or three different ways for her to attack as well as other players. You know, maybe sometimes she's more of, of a decoy for another player to get in. So there's there's different um, ways to attack using her, and we're trying to, to make her a more well-rounded forward instead of uh, continuing to attack the same way over and over and over. I know it, for you it's uh, it might be a little different having just been here, but for half this team, uh, there's a big change. It's a new era for, for Senator Soccer with the lights, the way the field, everything that's coming together. What's that been like? How they, I mean, obviously construction is still just about to be finished on everything, but what's that been like and how's that experience been for them? Yeah, they've enjoyed it a lot. Um, this preseason we've had the late night slot, so we're under the lights training every night, and um, it's been very enjoyable. I mean, it has that game day atmosphere. It, it kind of gets you more excited when you're under the lights. Um, there's nothing like playing you know, at night under the lights. So to be able to train like that and, and have that opportunity um, all year round as well um, next spring and, and this fall is, is going to be unbelievable. And, and they've been enjoying it so far. All right. Thank you very much. All right, Katrina, a couple days in the camp, um, back for your sophomore season. Uh, obviously some changes uh, about Half the team is freshmen, new coach. Just talk about uh, the experience so far getting back and meeting a new coach and, and meeting some of the new freshmen and getting to know each other. Um, I think it's been great so far. Like, we do have 13 new freshmen, so half our team is new, so that was a hard transition. But I think with every day, like, the freshmen are getting to know us a bit more and we're working really well in the field together. And Coach Megan, she's been great so far. It's a really hard transition when you lose a coach, but she's been great. She's really teaching us some new things that will like add another dimension to our offense and defense. So we're looking forward to the season. Talk about the excitement of having Coach Gill in. I know some of the players are really excited about her playing days and some of her coaching experience, but what's that been like to know that you have a former Division I player at Penn State coaching you and working with the team and seeing some of her ideas and how she plays the game and develops y'all? Uh, I think it's been great. Like she really, coming from a Division One school, she really knows a lot of different things and like is teaching us a lot of things that we didn't know last year. So it's just been really good so far, and her experience really helps us on the field because she can relate to us, obviously. So that helps. And yeah, I think we're a lot we're a lot stronger than we were last year. So I think it'll be a really good season. Talk about the returning team. A good core of the returners back, obviously yourself included. Um, several young freshmen who now have that experience. What's that like coming in to year two for you? That group of freshmen core, and then even the other returners, the sophomores and juniors coming back and have that good solid core. Yeah, I think in. it's nice having a solid core come back in because we're all we're all strong players, and I think we're all helping the freshmen start to fit in because we all know what it felt like to be a freshman last year. But no, it's been good. I think some of the freshmen, they're starting to step up. And being a sophomore, like we're all trying to be leaders to the freshmen, like getting them to speak up more and practice and everything. But I think it's been going really good. Yeah. Looking, uh, looking ahead, goals for the season. Um, obviously some individual awards last year, so uh, a solid regular season, the conference championship uh, didn't turn out that way in the postseason, but where do you all look as a team individually and then for you as a team, where do you look, where do you want to see this season go? Uh, collectively as a team we're looking to win the GMAC and I think last year being ranked sixth we were underestimated a lot so teams came in thinking they were going to beat us so I think this year being ranked third it's an eye-opener to a lot of the teams in our conference that we are uh, a good contender for the championship and that's what we want like we want to win we want to bid to the NCAA and I think we can get there with this group of girls we have this year um, individually I just want to try and have a really good season I know last year I had a good season so that's in the past I'm trying to work towards this year hoping to do well score some goals and win a conference championship you mentioned that conference uh and moving up in it. The conference grows a little bit this year. You kind of see some of the growth. Um, and obviously coming in as a freshman last year, it's not that you've seen the conference in the past, but what's it like knowing the conference growing, getting to know them a little bit more, and having that experience with them uh, as we grow? Um, I think it'll be a little different this year because they know our style of play and like de defenders, they know who to cover, they know who, um, just likes to get in behind their defense, so I think that'll be a bit challenging this year. But again, with Coach Gill, like she's giving us new ideas, like new runs when we're going forward, 
and like trying to possess the ball more instead of just always looking forward. So I think that'll add another dimension to our attacking line. And Malone, they're, we played them in preseason last year, so they're a good team. I think they'll be really good contenders in the league, and we're looking forward to playing them. All right, thank you very much.